Hello and welcome to this video on how to create a full-size PDF file of your drawing. So in this case I want to create a PDF file of this cross-section. So I will go to the application menu, select print and plot. And in this case I want to make sure that the, the monochrome is selected. And if you don't have this view right here you need to click on the arrow in the bottom and then the window will extend a bit and then you can select the monochrome and the paper size fits with the paper size of um, of my drawing so this is okay and I can get a preview and we can see that everything is showing correctly and um, we have the same distance from the edge of the paper to the edge of the PDF file and when we created the custom size paper we added 10 millimeters to the height and also 10 millimeters to the width. So in this case, we have an extra 5 millimeters in the top and another 5 millimeters in the bottom and also to the sides. And this was made so we can cut off the text that we will get when we have an educational version of uh, AutoCAD. So the layout looks pretty good, except um, the frame of my viewport is also being printed. And in this case, I don't want to show the frame, so I'll just um, undo this and close this one. And now I want to place the viewport in a layer that will not be printed. And if you're not sure which uh, layer will not be printed, you can go to Layer Properties. And uh, you can see which layer will be printed. For example, this layer 0, this one will be printed. But I can see this layer down here, we have a red mark on top of the printer, meaning that this will not be printed. So in this case I will place the um, viewport within the layer called A of V. So we'll just close this one, select the viewport, and now find the layer, which is right here. And now I'm ready to create the PDF file. So again go to the application menu, select print and plot and just get a preview and now we can see that the viewport is not being printed so this looks okay and I can just print it and just save it somewhere on your computer and now we have a full-size PDF file and we can see when we put the cursor in the bottom that the size corresponds to the size of the paper so 640 times 307 millimeters and if I just zoom in a bit, then the edge of the paper, once we have printed it out, will be this line right here. But this was just the principle of how you can create a full-size PDF file.